India of the ages is not dead, nor has she spoken her last creative word. She lives and has still something to do for herself and the human peoples. These stirring words of one of the greatest Indian minds, Sri Aurobindo, speak volumes about the need to re-engineer India by looking into its innate creative genius. Be it governance, be it economy, be it development, be it society or be it technology. India for ages has largely been seen and steered through from an outsider's perspective. Our first necessity if India is to survive and do her appointed work in the world is that the youth of India should learn to think, to think on all subjects, to think independently, fruitfully, going to the heart of things, not stop by their surface. Engineering Watch, India's most prestigious community of engineering stakeholders, has thereby taken upon itself the task of invoking a sincere intellectual deliberation with the objective of re-engineering India's governance, economy, development, society and technology. This Independence Day, several eminent personalities from various walks of national life would speak out their minds to a select gentry of entrepreneurs, school principals, engineering leaders, district magistrates, district informatics officers and municipal commissioners along with a host of other change agents who are silently re-engineering India's destiny. Singapore has a special place in the history and future of Asia to have emerged from a third world nation to one of the most advanced nations on the globe. Re-engineering India would thereby need a lot to learn from this city nation on the eve of its golden jubilee year of inception. Engineering Watch welcomes you to Re-Engineering India 2014. For more details, visit www.reengineeringindia.in.